I didn't talk about Twilight or New Moon because my thoughts weren't a lot to have a video. I, on my little iPad, my handy dandy notebook, if you get the reference, we could be friends, I ended up writing all my thoughts on it. And like, it was a whole essay Allie wrote. It starts off the book with Jacob like having like a note from him like something like this this is my planner daily not my planner but my like to-do list but like a note like this and it was like scratched out that Jacob is going through it and he doesn't want to talk to Bella which we all have our boundaries and if someone's like no I don't want to talk to you and I'm gonna be like period like I understand that I'm gonna give you your space however Bella has different ideas she just is like I'm gonna talk to him if he doesn't want to talk to me uh I'm not gonna take no for an answer the book starts off different than the movie clearly movies and books are different sometimes they're the same but most of the time there's a lot of detail left out because how are you supposed to fit I believe this book was 500 pages into a two hour right however for me I watched the movies before the books so I already knew like the whole story and like the plot Jacob is like I'm mad because you want to be with Edward he is not human like he's literally like sucks blood like why you want to be with him uh yeah i'm like i'm human but like also i have like this supernatural animal inside of me that i could turn into a werewolf anytime why would you choose him over me because bella loves edward and she found her soulmate and she can't live without him like at the end of the day that's the answer but he like can't understand it and i also think it's because he's so young like they're both so young that like the concept of understanding that is just like too much for him to grasp so i felt a lot of emotions throughout this book i was like happy and then i was sad and then i was angry actually take your whole life away for a guy my parents We'll probably think the same thing like if i was trying to do this because like charlie and her mom i cannot think of her name were so understanding and they were like oh yeah like get married oh ha. like totally nonchalant about it but like if i tried doing that my parents would be like what are you doing ellie like you have your whole life in front of you. she's just like thinking for herself doing for herself and not thinking about like anyone else's like opinions or like feelings like she doesn't really care for jacob's feelings and she doesn't really care like that she's hurting him edward is trying to be selfless like, go and experience life and i'm going to take like all this away from you and like why like why they're like the whole thing going on in seattle Se seattle people are being killed we find out that Victoria is creating a new new blood vampire army. Jasper was also turned by her. And he was also a part of this the commander chief sergeant for the new blood army. He got turned into a vampire and then he was doing like the new blood army army and so he was part of that so he understands all of it so he's like teaching and like them and you just find out like how him and alice met like she saw him coming and she like in a diner came up to him he was a gentleman then she's like come on like we have to be like vegetarian diet like eat animals blood because there's like this family called the collins and like she goes on about it so then you find out like all of that which is so cool i love that we also find out about uh rosalie and her story which is so sad it makes me cry whenever i hear her story we also find out leah and sam sam and leah we find out that they were high school soulmates and sweethearts and they were so in love 
and then Emily came down to visit. Sam imprinted on Emily, had to break all of his promises to Leah, and then Leah sticks around because she's a werewolf, just like Sam, and so werewolves can, like, hear, everyone, like, their whole pack's thoughts, so everyone's just, like, hears all this. It's just so sad. Like, imagine being so in love with someone. Bella's like, oh, did, like, you? And he's like, no, you can't, like, force it. And you would know when it happened. And we also find out that, I can't remember the one name, but one of them imprinted on a two-year-old in the pack and foreshadowing for Breaking Dawn of what happened with Jacob. We also find out about a story that this werewolf saved her clan by like to her arm and then the were I mean the vampire was like oh and then the vampire I mean the werewolf killed the vampire if that makes sense I love the vampire stories and the werewolf stories just cool I'm team Edward solely for the fact that he is selfless and he understands and he has like this mentality and knowledge and Jacob's like a little immature and he's just like thinking for himself. They're like, oh, like Bella, what are we gonna do with Bella? They decide, well, Jacob decides like, oh, let's go on the mountain in a tent. So Edward goes up, sets everything up while Jacob is like carrying her because his scent, stench, I guess you can say, mask her scent and then Seth also comes up then uh there's like the scene where like Bella's freezing and obviously Edward is freaking a stone so he can't help her so Jacob ends up like cuddling with her and then like Edward and Jacob's commentary is so funny and we know uh Edward and Bella are talking about like oh like I'm gonna marry you uh because she said yes to marrying him Jacob finds out like he can hear like the thoughts and Jacob like runs off and Bella's like oh no 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 like they talk she ends up like making out with him which is like what was the point of that uh, Victoria is like oh like Bella's gonna be where Edward is so she finds Edward's trail scent goes up there fight breaks out and then Bella does the thing with her with a rock and then the vampire Victoria is like and then Edward like breaks her into like pieces and Victoria is no longer alive even though she wasn't even alive her soul was like frozen in time and now she's like back in like I don't know hell or heaven whichever uh she goes to and then Edward's like oh my gosh like you just saw me like literally ill someone and you're like totally fine with it and she's like I'm just worried like are you okay are you okay on the way back Jacob like gets hurt and he's like screaming and he's like in pain because he got like bit like obviously like it's gonna hurt Charlie's was with Billy and he was like yeah like you heard this loud like scream like it was like, awful and not realizing that like that was Jacob anywho so then uh Bella goes to talk to Jacob and she's like oh no I'm didn't choose you I'm still getting married to Edward and so then Jacob like freaks out and like is very upset like obviously like she literally made out with you so you're probably thinking oh no she chose me no she's like mm, sorry no I, I'm still with that bird and so then she makes the choice bye and she's definitely being with Edward and so then she leaves and she's in her car like bawling her eyes out well not car her truck bawling her eyes out which like this part broke me like my heart shattered i was so upset because i have been there where i had to make a choice between like someone like like relationship wise someone that like i deeply like knew and i like, loved 
or for someone like new and I didn't love and just that whole situation like I related to Bella and it, like even though I'm not going to turn into a vampire and also I'm single so everything happens for a reason but I related to her and I was like oh my gosh like I've been there like I understand you like it's so heartbreaking that like you finally made the choice but you're in your head you're like did I make the right choice like am I doing the right thing and then you're like I'm sacrificing so much for this pers person and it hurts like it hurts so bad and you know in your head you're like this is going to help me and I'm going to grow from this but right now this sucks like this hurts and so Alice like sees you know her there crying in her in the truck and edward's like are you comes and he's like are you sure like are you sure are you sure you made the right choice and she's like yes yes like i had to do this and i have to do this and be with you like well you know and so she's like i like can't live without you like we already done tried that and back in new moon and like i was like awful like i couldn't freaking walk and like I had no will to live so obviously yeah I'm gonna be with you and so then they asked Charlie if you can get married and he's like ah, are you pregnant and they're like no and so then like that's how the book ends and then Breaking Dawn picks up like they're getting married and like all this stuff so that's my thoughts honestly I rated it a 5 out of 5 on Goodreads. It was my favorite book. 